why should we even have a taper tantrum? I mean, we're talking about an eventual rate hike in late 2022, perhaps 2023. And if I read Jay Powell right, maybe 2024, why would we go through all this angst and confusion right now in the market? Yeah, and the markets and, and traders are really going to be leaning on everything the Fed is saying right now, because I don't think it's really as important as when they're going to raise rates or how much they're going to raise rates, or if it's faster or sooner than everybody expects it to be, because that's what will create some sort of taper tantrum. We even saw that back in February, that interest rates spiked ever so slightly, and we really saw uh, like the Nasdaq sold off on that. So I think it's just really yeah, going to be important that they spike, are though. transparent when it happens. Uh, it, supposedly, the blueprint or the, uh, the script says in this environment, you want to own financials, you want to own small caps. I also want to ask you about the strong dollar because I know you like that emerging markets trade. Are all those buys in your mind? They are, yeah, very much so. And I think we're going to get these ebbs and flows. So I wouldn't look at like one week or another as a complete trend change. But I think you really want to look at your cyclicals right now. So things like your small caps, your financials are really going to benefit as they're more sensitive to the economy continuing to grow. Uh, my only caveat there is I would still, like if you're looking at small caps, look at your value over your growth because your growth companies are still going to be more sensitive to interest rates rising. Uh, but also your foreign companies, whether it's emerging or uh, your domestic markets, are more cyclical. So I, I do still really like all of those trades right now. Uh, Courtney, I want to give you the last word. Just your thoughts on the last 24 hours, what we've seen, what the market is saying. And, 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 and you're, you seem to still be comfortable with where you've been for the last several months. So you're not making any changes. What should investors know? Yeah, and I think that being said, you need to make sure you're you're well diversified. I, I I do still like things like your tech firms, but it's just really not where I'm looking for opportunity right now. There's still a lot of places that are are recovering and making their way. Like take for example things like airlines or Delta are really coming back strong as people are starting to travel again. Uh, but they still have a lot of potential to go here, and I I think you really still want to look at those cyclicals, look at those values, own a little bit of all of it. But that's really where you got to play this right now.